Man, this is live. Anything can happen. Man, this is live. Anything can happen. Man, this is live. Anything can happen. And what if you fuck up? Man, this is live. Anything can happen. I'd be pissed scared I'd get a boner or a fucking fart or something. Man, this is live. Anything can happen. Shut the fuck up, man. Never You're admit to nervous. liking to eat Barbie cereal. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Everything's okay, I promise. I forgive you. It's okay, don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be okay. I love you. I love you so much. I love you more than there are grains of sand on every beach of every planet, of every galaxy of the universe. I, I need you in my life. I need you more than humans need water and food to survive. You mean more to me than Home Depot means to Mr. Logerado. You mean more to me than just anything. You mean more to me than golden diamonds mean to the greediest burglar. Okay, that's too cringy. Enough of that shit. Oh my god. Welcome back to Pop Culture in the Morning. Pop Culture in the Morning. Pop Culture. Time to get your pop culture on. <laughs> Thought we'd start off with a little cringe this afternoon. That is probably one of the most uncomfortable things on YouTube to watch. And only played about not even half of it. Oh my God. But we're back now for Pop Culture in the Morning. We're going to talk about food that you sit inside milk until it gets soggy and then you're ready to eat breakfast. And instead of uh, news, you know, I get bored of checking the movie news and stuff. I thought we would check over with Geek That Gamer Kiss channel because he always has the latest breaking news. So later in this po uh, podcast, whatever you want to call it, live stream, we're going to jump over there and uh, talk with him. When I talk with him, we're going to jump over to see what news he has going on. I'm sure there's some pop culture news to be upset about. So we're going to check in over there in a few minutes. I wish Junk 3 Peel was here. He would. That's his That's his buddy. Uh, he probably can give us some inside news, too. We got Raw Solo in the house. We got Chris over here. We got Kenner Custom Toys. Uh, makes great puppets over there. Uh, we got Turtle Dave. We got Chris. I said that. We got Rich. We got Mississippi Jones. We got The Worst. We got... Robert Long, we got Card Shop Reality is always up hanging out here. I don't see Ashley. Now, if you don't know, last night about midnight, Eastern Time, I put up a new video because I've been trying to put videos up around 5. But I wanted to do this video because we talked about it on the live stream that I'm going to make my own video about it. Uh, 10 characters I would love to see pop up in the Obi-Wan series. Um, I would love to see them. Um... I lost my train of thought there, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so I had another video about Boshek coming up today, later today at 5 o'clock. If I said that right, Boshek, I think that's his name, is the character in A New Hope. Uh, background cattle. Yeah, no Ashley. I hadn't seen Ashley yet. Uh, but check it out because I put it up late at night so a lot of people probably missed it. It's 10 characters from the Star Wars universe that I would like to see pop up in... Um, the Obi-Wan series. Someone commented that they thought I was on edge in that video. I don't know what they're talking about. It was Samantha Sledge, who I've seen in the chat. She was like, what? what's on? You're on edge. Take a break, junk man. I don't know. Just seemed like a normal common video to me. Um, 
Just popped in for a little bit. I'm seeing my doctor. Oh, no, Joe. Hope you start to feel better. Uh, cringe opening. Different for sure. Yeah. Got some cringe videos to throw at you today. Not many. Not many. Uh, well, I think that might be the only cringe one when I think about it. But I was going to... Uh, we got Joe, but we're going to talk cereal today, all kinds of cereal, and what about the toys and cereals? Who didn't like the toys? Now, this is the odd thing here. I remember getting excited for the toys, getting the cereal, digging my hand. I always put them at the bottom of the box, which now I think about it, my hand, my arm, and everything in that cereal, then the rest of the family had to eat it. Ugh. Digging out those toys, but I can't really remember any, any of the prizes, any of the toys inside now. Now, the probably the most famous is this one right here. The Cracker Jack whistle, because in the 70s, you could get this whistle and use it to hack into your phone line to make long distance phone calls. Uh, it was really big in the hacker community of the 70s, the Captain Crunch whistle right there. Uh, a lot of the industry's titans today that's in tech that grew up in the 70s and 80s know about the Captain Crunch whistle. So that's probably the most famous one that's out there now. But... I don't really remember much of the toys. Now, I remember the bouncy ball. I remember that being in the prize sometimes, the rubber bouncy ball. It was also in bubblegum machines and stuff. So, I remember that. Hmm. Hold on just a second, guys. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry about it. Sorry, sorry. Son says he's sick and wants to come off from school. Sorry about that. Sorry, might have to cut the might have to cut the stream short. Not sure yet. Uh, Junk Three PO is here. He is here. He's going to enjoy this one where we check in with Geek the Gamer Kid for the latest news and uh, going on in pop culture. Not really sure. I'm going to head over to his channel, pull up. You know, last Friday we pulled up the that, uh, I think it's a porno, porno uh, live stream or something called uh, Men, Men That Like Tights or Men Tights or something. Uh, and we just watched them talk a little bit and commented on it. So we're going to do that today. We're going to go over to the Geek That Gamer Kid channel. But let's get back to talking cereal. Sorry I had to answer a text. Sometimes... Life gets in the way when you're trying to have fun here. Chris, did I say Chris was in the house? He's eating some colon blow, one of the funniest, best com fake commercials that Saturday night has ever did. And it starred, of course, the great Phil Hartman. Wacky wall, wacky wall crawlers. I remember that. Throw them at the wall. They triple down like that. I loved them. They were great. Uh, also in bubblegum machines, a lot of things you find in bubblegum machines you can find in toys. But... I don't it's odd that I could get so excited about the toys and I really just don't remember the toys at all. You would think that uh, I would remember the toys more often, but uh, before we get in, we're gonna pu I pulled up a lot of pictures of cereal from the 70s and the 80s and maybe some of the 90s, some based on movies, some based on television, some just regular cereal, some based on video games. Yeah, it seems like the 80s was the explosion to milk everything. Haha, <laughs> milk cereal, get it? Get the pun? It seems like that was part of the 80s where one, that was pop culture. It was like, if it was a hit TV show, it would be a cereal. It would be a toy line. It would be a clothes line. It would be everything with that on it. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. Hmm. Is unlocked. I might... Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, where was I? Sorry about that. Uh, C-3PO's are the best cereal. That wasn't really that good to me. That wasn't, that wasn't really that good to me. But before we get started that, let's head over to Geek, that gamer kid has agreed to help us out. Uh, well, I didn't agree. I'm going to sneak over to his channel, pull up the latest news, because I'm don't. i too lazy to research and everything. So let's head over to Geek the Gamer Kid to see what's going on in pop culture. Because you freaking fricks just can't ever be quenched. Your, your fantasies can't ever be quenched, can they? You freaking fricks. What will you learn? What will you learn? 
okay, I can't, I can't, can't take it anymore. I don't really know what the latest news there was. We'll check back with him throughout the show to see. Maybe, maybe y'all can let me know what's going on there. I don't know. He's upset about something, I'm sure, and he's crying and he's really upset. But let's talk cereal. Let's talk cereal. And don't forget, send in a super chat to make sure I see it, to read it, and get a video clip. And we've got a Lucas clip we're going to play. We can play today. And we got something, uh, other things. And, but let's get back over to the cereal. Let's just get right into it because I got a lot to look at. New, although it's not new. I think this was from the 70s. Sir Grape Fella. I don't remember this be honest with you, but I'm a fan of grape, anything grape, grape soda, grape hot dog, grape pizza, grape on grape, I don't care, if you put grape in it, I will eat it, I love grape, um, so I don't know what this is, but it looks like you got a free prize, uh, <laughs> hold on, well, last text, I promise, hmm, okay sorry about that hopefully that's it okay that's the problem of doing live you never know what's gonna happen and why is drunk 3po in here drunk, is this the real drunk 3po because he's on vacation and i thought i saw him in the cayman islands or something anyway where is ashley grape ape who doesn't like grape ape? okay sir i don't remember this i think this was in the 70s so we'll move on what about oj's they put anything in cereal to get kids to buy it OJ's, you know, orange juice cereal. I guess it would turn your milk orange and give you some orange juice. Again, this is one I don't really remember, the OJ cereal. I'm glad it didn't have OJ Simpson on it. That would make it a cereal killer. <laughs> oh, shit. No, oh, shit, that was... That was a good joke, wasn't it? Man, that was good. I tried this one chili and it set my mouth on fire and I had to drink a two liter of Mountain Dew. Man, that was a good joke. You have to admit that was a good joke. Let's see what else we got here. We got Kaboom! Clowns got their own cereal in the 80s. That's right. You heard me. Clowns. Not Bozo, but other clowns got their own cereal. In the 80s, you couldn't believe it. So much sugar, you wouldn't know what to do. You give this to the little Tommy, he'd be bouncing off the walls within 30 minutes. OJ was delivered in a white Bronco. Huh? They brought it to the store in a white Bronco. That's a good one, too. I should have said that. You got me on that one, Kevin. You beat me to the killer joke. I knew somebody would get it. I love that guy, says Raw. I don't know who that guy is, but he loves him. That didn't age well. Uh, just kind of to catch up again. I'll check in with some chats later, but super chats to make sure I see them and the support to make sure we can't keep doing pop culture in the morning without super chat. They even turned waffles into cereals in the 70s. That's right, cereal with maple syrup. 70, we didn't care about health. We didn't care about hyping up the kids. We didn't care if it was real sugar or not. You could have made cereal called Cocaine Flakes, and kids would have, parents would have bought them for the kids in the 70s and 80s. They wanted to get kids hyper, excited, bouncing around before they sent them off to school. Or on a Saturday when you could send kids outside to play. Now you give kids a bowl of waffle cereal, they're bouncing off the wall, wall in their room, and you're like, hey, go outside. But kids are like, go outside? What is this, the dark ages? I don't know why kids don't like to hang outside anymore. Maybe it's because they don't like to get their bottoms tingled with anymore. I don't understand. Okay, so we got Smurfs. Like I said, if it was a cartoon hit, if it was a movie hit, if it was a TV hit, no matter what it was, they would slap it on a cereal, they would slap it on shoes, they slap it on shirts, they slap it on toys. Whatever they could market, they went to town, especially in the 80s. It was the era kicking off pop culture for sure. So we had Smurf Magic Berries. Now, I was given some Magic Berries back in 1992, but it was at a rave at a warehouse on the south part of town, and I don't remember it having anything to do with Smurfs, so I think this might be a little different. Where did you find these cereals? said raw solo well this isn't something i have in the box back here this is something i have on display these are just photos so i just found them by googling 80s cereals or 70s cereals so i just found them 
But as a kid, I found them at the grocery store. Shocking, I know. But let's give Raw Solo. Let's give it. I didn't get many new ones. I didn't get... Let's see if I got any new ones here. Cringe Boyfriend. We don't want to do that one again. Let's give him this one. Let's give this one the Raw Solo. Because I just like... It's just so odd. It makes me laugh. Here goes Raw. The interesting thing is they call it pyro processing. But it's a molten salt process. They're dissolving this thing in a molten salt. And they're doing electrochemistry on it. Why don't they call it molten salt? They Ain't that some weird stuff? Now, someone again is cutting the grass outside my yard. I mean, right there. I don't know if y'all can hear it. So I'm trying to stall a little bit while he moves away from my fucking window. God. I don't know. If... Let me just let me just stall a little bit and try to. We got another super chat. Smurf cereals. Only way you could get Smurf yet. Oh, only way you could eat Smurf yet. That's a dirty joke. So I like it. I love a goody, gir, good dirty joke that goes out to Daniel and while the garbage man or the garbage man while the grass cutter again I don't know why there's a grass cutter outside my window every day uh, let's try to let's uh, let's send him a here you go Daniel <laughs> hi baby girl <laughs> Everything's okay, I promise. I forgive you. I can't do it. I can't do that cringy guy anyway. But let's get back to talking serious. Thank you guys for the Super Chats again. It keeps pop culture daily at 11 a.m. And so it really means a lot. Do Smurfs even have junk? I don't know. I don't want to find out. But I can guarantee you it's small. What if they were packing? What if all the Smurfs were packing like 8 to 9 inches? Think about it. Well, one thing you can say about a Smurf. I bet they had blue balls. <laughs> man, I am killing myself today, man. I am. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Man, I am killing myself today with some good jokes, man. And, of course, we got Bill and Ted. Excellent cereal. Yeah, and you look like you get some free postcards. I remember postcards being in there. Man, postcards, Bill and Ted's. Now, I remember seeing these at the store, but I think I was out of eating cereal by this time in my life. Sadly, I took a break from cereal. thought I was too good for it. Give me a breakfast bar. I was too good to eat cereal. So, I never had new Bill and Ted Excellent Cereal. I don't know why they put new in the box. I don't think they were old. I don't think there was like a brand called Bill and Ted Excellent Cereal back in the 60s, and they rebranded it as new. So, that's just... But, it's got yeah, it's got George Carlin on the box. How many people... How many times have you eaten George Carlin on the front of a cereal box? I would have bought some George Carlin cereal back in the 80s or some Gallagher cereal. Some cereal. Maybe it came with a little sledgehammer. Maybe it came with a watermelon. It would have been good. Mr. T. I pity the fool that don't eat my cereal right there. Mr. T. Again, new Mr. T. I don't know why they have to say new. I don't know why there was never no old Mr. T. But Mr. T. You know, I went to the grocery store last weekend or something to buy and I wanted to get some Captain Crunch. I said I haven't had Captain Crunch in years. In years. And they were either there was one box about this big, came with about four other boxes. And then there was one that said family size and it was about this damn big. And then there was another one called jumbo size. And I was like there was no there's no common size anymore. I'm like shit. Oh yeah this yeah, Mr T was Captain Crunch I believe. Someone else said it in there. Um, you wouldn't approve without steroids. Man, damn, kids need the steroid. Gallagher cereal. Ugh, sorry, Gallagher cereal would have just been crumbles. That would have been a great gimmick. They could have took it in that bag and stepped all over it before they made it out. But let's check back in with... Uh, okay. Gremlins. Look at that. Gremlin cereal. Oh, like I said, anything that's part of pop culture, anything that was big and huge, had to have. Let's get a free sticker inside. That was always boring, wasn't it? Get a free sticker. Now, unless you got Captain, not Captain Crunch. Um, the only kind, well, it's not really a sticker. A temporary tattoo inside Cracker Jacks. Now, that was good. That was good. But, man, Gremlins, the cereal. I don't remember having this, but I'm sure that time period, I would have bought it because... I thought, oh my God, it was the cutest thing ever, and I was in love with him. 
And we got Dunkin' Donuts talking about give the kids a sugar rush, getting the kids high, getting them out there. You guessed it. Dunkin' Donuts cereal. I mean, donuts is probably not something you want to give kids in the morning. Maybe a glazed donut with something else, maybe on the side, uh, some sausage or something. But Dunkin' Donuts has cereal. And look at that. You got free, something free from the amazing Blackstone, a card trick system. I bet it was horrible. Blackstone. Anybody remember the magician Blackstone? Ooh, that's crazy. And we got G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. New. Again, they have to tell us it's new. Like, we can't figure it out. We know that's not an old school G.I. Joe. And it looks like, what's it say? Oh, it has a t-shirt offer. A t-shirt offer. I always hated getting offers because 99% of the time, no one was going to help me mail it in. I didn't have stamps. I didn't know how to write my address. I didn't know how to mail stuff in. We've got G.I. Joe Amazing Stars. Now, I don't know who that character is on the box, but I bet you some of you G.I. Joe fans out there know who it is. I'm pretty sure, because that's the kind of guys y'all are. Y'all are pretty cool about that stuff. Oh my god, I said pretty cool, didn't I? I said pretty cool. This is like my show where I like talk to people who are pretty cool, and will like talk about things I think are pretty cool, and yeah, it's pretty cool! Sums up my show right there, doesn't it? Okay, we've got more donut cereal, power, powered, powdered donut cereal. Three gram cereal right there. And you get a free yo-yo, a Dunkin' yo-yo, not just some generic yo-yo made by some fly the night yo-yo company. You get an official Dunkin'. What is the leading brand of yo-yos? If you're going to have a yo-yo, have a Dunkin'. That's not a paid ad. It's not. But if you work for the D Dunkin' yo-yo uh, company, please reach out to me. I would love to do some ads on here. Shut up out there. Fuck, I'm trying to talk. Ah. The fuck cuts grass every day. Oh my god. We got the Batman cereal from 1989. And I think this was just some cereal that was already on the market. And they slapped it in a box and put Batman on it. Ain't even that much grass out there to cut. Shit. Anyway. We got Batman the cereal. And again, they have to tell us it's new. Like, we don't know that. It's new. Why do they put new on everything? We got Custom Jenner Toys sitting in a super chat with Cocoa Pebbles and Sugar Frosted Moisted tur Turds Proving Wrong. Mouse Turds? Oh, my. Cocoa Pebbles, let me read that It's Sugar Frosted Mouse Turds Prove Me Wrong. I cannot prove you wrong, but I can say, if true, it's probably one of the greatest tasting mouse turds I've ever had because I love me some Cocoa Pebbles. In fact, Cocoa Pebbles might be my favorite. It might be Cocoa Pebbles because what I liked as a kid getting Cocoa Pebbles is it turns your milk into chocolate milk. So after you had that great turds, you could drink the milk and it was like drinking chocolate milk. <laughs> Mom, you said I couldn't have chocolate milk before school. <laughs> I got chocolate milk in my Cocoa Pebbles. Oh man, Cocoa Pebbles. Oh man. Let's check out with some chats real quick. Some oh, Kenner, you sent a uh, you sent a super chat. So let's send you something. You're in here a lot, so you don't care about the special. Well, you made ones, and I think I did the F you junk man too much. I got to get rid of some of these old ones. I got rid of the Sam Beckett one. Thank you, thank you. Uh, no way I want to see cringy boyfriend anymore. Um, we'll just give you old Jack Burton. Here you go. Ah, you know what old Jack Burton always says at a time like this? Who? Jack Burton. Me. We, and Drunk 3 Pill, we will get to Pac-Man Cereal in a few minutes. Trust me, it's in the images. We will get to Pac-Man Cereal in a second. And in about five minutes, we will go back and we will check in with Geek, that gamer kid, so he can keep you updated on the latest news to be upset about. And 3 po C. Three P.O.'s. People get mad that I put the hyphen after three. But hey, I don't care. That's how I say it. And looks like he gets some free trading cards or some kind of stickers maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's stickers. I can't read. That's too small. It is three P.O.'s. And someone put strawberries in his cereal. It doesn't even look like he has any milk in it. They should have put blue milk in it. I don't know. I don't know about you, but when I got ready for school in the afternoon, my mom was not putting strawberries in my cereal. 
I want a strawberry milk, I gotta get it myself, but chances are no. You just get some cereal and you're like, here, eat this shit, get ready to go, we gotta go. The bus is on the way. But C3PO's, I, I remember this being out. I don't remember eating them much. I don't remember being a fan of them. I don't, I, to be honest, I wasn't really a big 3PO fan. If they put Han Solo on this, they put Luke on it, they called it lightsabers or something, I would have bought it. But 3PO, 3PO was a little, you know, for a boy growing up with a different time period, you're like, 3PO's for the girls or for the, you know, the, you know, we wanted Boba Fett. They put Boba Fett on the damn zero. I would have bought every damn box I could. Oh, man. But let's check in. Let's see what's next right here. What about this? Rocky Road. When they tried to market ice cream cereal. Well, you know, the Rocky Road ice cream. Not the Rocky Road TBS series that lasted about four episodes. I'm not even sure if anybody remembers that. Probably not just me. But I watched a lot of TBS back in the 80s. Uh, that's why I know this so well. I'm Audrey See you next time on Kids Beat. Audrey Lee, you are still stuck in my head all these days later. And I'm probably the only one that remembers that. Junk 3 PO says, how about Slave Leia cereal? That would be good. Slave Leia cel uh, cereal? You could eat her bikini. You could eat her gold bikini. Johnny says, 3PO ate too many strawberries from his cereal, which is why he has a red arm. I did not know that. That's, wait a minute. That's 3PO with the red arm in Force Awakens? Didn't recognize him. Uh, Aaron says, I paid $50 for 50 for several 3PO cereal boxes a few years ago. That just seems ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what they go for now. That just seems crazy. Rocky Road was good since Car Shop Reality. Uh, I remember, this is no one I remember. I don't remember actually eating. I can't tell you what. Uh, Raw says, nice, Mark. Oh, hi, hello, Mark. Uh, Car Shop Reality says, stuck in his head. Ha. I don't remember. And, and Jim says, 3PO, better. 3PO box, better than the cereal. I will probably agree with that one right there. Here we go, drunk 3PO. You can quit. You're crying. You can quit, quit your bitching about it. We're going to talk Batman. <laughs> We're going to talk Pac-Man, the cereal. Oh, I wasn't Miss Pac-Man. I don't know. I was a bigger fan of Miss Pac-Man. I got one over there. I love Miss Pac-Man. Why? Pac-Man was just the same maze over and over again. Miss Pac-Man changed it up. I didn't have a lot. They had four different boards. Pac-Man is great. Oh, but we got Pac-Man has a lot of marshmallows in it. That was important. Cereal with marshmallows because that's all I would do actually. Wake up for school, fix me some cereal, pick through it, get the marshmallows out. And some of the cereal you had to be careful like Captain Crunch and probably Pac-Man looks like it. If you don't let that shit soak in your milk, it's going to tear the roof of your mouth up. Fruit Loops are really good at that. Fruit Loops will rip up the top of your mouth. Oh, uh, worse than hot pizza. Oh, man. How is how is this cereal not have new on it? Oh, my God. It doesn't have new on it. You're right. Car shop. Bet parents were confused. I bet it didn't sell well. I bet parents walked down the aisle and said, Pac-Man, yeah, this is a cereal from the 50s. It's out of date. I'm not eating it. I'm pretty sure. But it is eight essential vitamins, says Raw Solo. That is good. It looks like you get something free. I can't see. Let's see if I can pull this up and see what that is. Get there. See if I can see what that is right there. Some kind of candy bar, I guess. A rain. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll do. I wish it was free gator gum. Um, not really sure what that is, but let's go on. If it's okay with Drunk 3PO, let's go on. We got Ninja Turtle cereal. This is probably more maybe late 80s. But I'm thinking more 90s when they came really popular. You got the turtle holding the spoon, and it is new. Not to be confused with the Ninja Turtle cereals released in the 1930s. Uh, cereal. Ne Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Again, I, I missed the boat on Ninja Turtles. I never really got into them. By the time they got popular, I was really out of that stuff. So I never really got into them. We got a super chest from Brian here supporting the house. Uh, and he says, Crunch Berries sucked when they added multicolor berries. Red berries for the win. Brian, that sounds like some racist shit. You're trying to get me canceled again. You're trying to get a hit piece written about the junk man about reading racist stuff saying cereal is no good when they went multicolors. <sighs> trying to start some stuff in the morning with me. Trying to get me in trouble. But you sent a super chat, which I appreciate. So I'm going to send you something. Oh, shit. We got so many of the same old damn things. Here you go. <laughs> And I'm 
I'm Jason Bain, and we'll be right back with One to Grow On. You really are wonderful. Listen, I am not nice, I am not kind, and I am not wonderful. Whoa, Skeletor, he is nice. But we got the Turtles. Thank you again, Brian, for the Super Chat. means a lot. But let's check in with Geek, the gamer kid. See what the latest news is. Because like I said a few days ago, I was tired of searching movie news. And it's just so much out there. I don't care about the damn Snyder Cut. Let's see what, hopefully he's calmed down a little bit now. Let's see what Geek, that gamer kid, is talking about in pop culture news. So you can get the latest in the news. I just hope Chunky's in it. He's so good at providing the whimsical comic relief. Let's try that again because I can't fucking read, I guess. Let's go to Geek the Gamer Kid to see what he is talking about in the news because he keeps up with the latest news. Keep on asking for Sonic Adventure 3! And you're already the Sonic series! Hasn't it already suffered enough? And it's still suffering! What the frick? Sega just can't perfect Sonic in the modern world, can they? All because... Okay, he's still upset about something. We'll check back with him in about 10 or 15 minutes to see. Maybe he's moved on from that news and he's on to something else there. Whew. Can't keep up, man. Whew. Cracker Jacks got into the egg with cereal. They saw the cereal was having prizes still in their gimmick. Crafting cunt. Captain Cracker Jack. Why don't I talk about Crafting Jack? Craft. Cat. Cracker Jack said, hey, you're stealing my gimmick, putting toys inside cereal. We're not going to have it. We're going to steal your gimmick. We're going to have Cracker Jack cereal. And you know when you're really good, they call you Cracker Jack. And that sounds like some racist shit to call somebody a Cracker Jack. That sounds racist. But it's just racist against white people. So that's okay. I'm not going to get canceled for that. But I don't know why he would dress like a sailor. He seems a little young to be be a sailor. I could be wrong with a prize in size. Hopefully, it's some temporary tattoos. Man, in the 80s, Cracker Jack prizes was cool. Little mazes, magnifying glass that you could burn ants with. A lot of cool stuff. But then, 90s, some other time, they started just being paper shit and really, really crap. What do you call a kid who can skate like yet? What do you call a kid who can skate like yet? We call that kid a Cracker Jack. Cracker Jack. When you're really good, they do call you a Cracker Jack. I remember that because I went to a school that was probably about 2% white and I got called Cracker Jack a lot. So I can, I can, Geek Gamer Kid has hopped up on sugar cereal. He might be. He's upset about something. He's a little high pitched. I can't, sometimes I really can't tell what he's upset about, but I'm sure he's upset that Lucas uh, is editing a new Star Wars film and they wouldn't let him finish editing it or something. Something, some kind of bullshit he's upset about, probably. Okay, let's get back to it. Fucking grass cutters, man. Jeez. Oh. It didn't take my teacher, Miss Wilberry, to cut her bush that long back in 1976. God. Okay, let's talk sports. You guys like sports? I don't. Don't really know about them. But in the 80s, or maybe the 90s, I don't know. But in the 80s, you know what we like to do? We like to dunk our balls. Yep, we dunked our balls in cereal. Ate cereal that looked like basketballs. That's right. Get your cereal. Wake up in the morning. Get ready. Get you a bowl, pour milk in it, and dunk your balls. We're going to dunk your balls in some weedy cereals. That's right. Yeah. Or this might be for the family. You wake up before your little sister, get your milk, dunk your balls in it, and give it to your sister. She will like to dunk her balls in the cereal herself. But in case you want to be nice, dunk your balls in her cereal and then let her eat the dunk ball cereal. Oh, man. Limited time only. You got to hurry. Got to hurry. Before you dunk your balls. And we got Donkey Kong. <laughs> I was going to make a Donkey Kong sound. And I started coughing. This damn cold isn't going away. Donkey Kong cereal right here. You got Mario. They didn't even mention him. That was before Mario was famous. Now Mario is kind of taking over the spotlight of Donkey Kong. Oh, man. Now, I think Universal tried to sue Nintendo for using King Kong-like image for Donkey Kong. And you got Princess. I don't know her name. One day, her name is Princess Toadstool. And then somebody tells me her name is Princess Peach. And then her prin she seems like she has a different name every game that comes out. So, Jumpman says no to Cracker Jack. 
Nintendo, back Nintendo, kind of related to the last one. We got two cereals in one. We got one side of the cereal box was Super Mario, and on the other side of the box was Zelda. And you got something free I can't see. This is probably, out of all that we looked at, probably the most boring box of them all. This is one boring box. I was in the Nintendo, huge, really in the Nintendo in 1985, 86, 87, around the era. But I don't remember buying this one at all. And we have Frosted Flakes. Well, guess what else we had in the 70s? We had a little tiger, Tiger Jr., with Frosted Rice. Now, I'm sure it's just rice cereal, but just doesn't sound appealing to me. Frosted Rice. I don't like that name. Oh, my God. I'm stuffed up there. One of my personal favorites also. And it came with a free crazy ball. Always a good toy to have. Especially when it would glow in the dark. I almost said glue in the dark. I don't think that's how you say it. Captain Crunch Peanut Butter. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, cough all over my microphone. So I'm going to mute it and we'll play this gym for you. I just got back from seeing Stellar Odyssey Cold in the Force Rehash. No spoilers, but it's so refreshing to see less CGI space battles and more sock puppets. And what a brave decision it was to recast all the main characters as female, including the robots. Ah! I can't believe it! They ruined the whole franchise! And yes, I do have a peanut butter fitted. I love peanut butter. Um, the best peanut butter crunch. I do like that thing. That's one I went to buy. It was in a huge box. I was like, come on. I like the balls better. It didn't tear your mouth up as much. I'm glad I don't know about this. I'm glad I didn't eat this. I'm glad I never saw it in the store because I probably would have lost it and probably kicked it halfway across the store over into the dog food section. Urkel's. Yes, you heard me right. Steve Urkel had his own cereal. Yeah, he had his own doll, but he also had his own cereal. This is some stupid, corny shit. I would have been about 17 or 18, and I would have hated it just to hate it. Car Shop Reality says, who is Steve Urkel? Come on, don't act like you don't know. You don't know the Urkel Jerkle. Everybody knows the Urkel Jerkle. That's what you did at home by yourself before Pornhub. Uh, I used to mix peanut butter, Captain Crunch, with Cocoa Puffs. Damn, that sounds delicious. I remember they got some Reese Cup cereal. And you're like, Reese Cup cereal? And it's just not the same. Urkels, are you kidding me? I wish I was. I wish I could tell you I photoshopped this as a joke. My skills aren't that good at photoshopping. And no, I'm not. They did make Urkel cereal. Yeah, did I do that? That's what you do after you eat it. You eat it. It's so horrible. You throw it up all over the carpet and you say, did I do that? Oh. Donkey Kong was back, but this time it was his son, I guess, or maybe the younger years. Donkey Kong Jr., with wild fruit flavors, wild fruit flavors right there. Probably wild, praise of crazy fruits that kids don't know, like apples and oranges and bananas. Wild, crazy. And, of course, it's new. Got to say it's new, right? Got to say it's new. Oh, my God, I cannot breathe. Okay, they make cereal for every day. They make cereal every day and every person. Okay, Samantha Sledge is in the house. Samantha Sledge, I didn't see you. We talked about you earlier because I didn't understand why you told me I was on edge. During my Obi-Wan video. <laughs> it just seemed like a normal video to me. Now, it was probably about 11 o'clock at night. Made it a little later than usual and put it up late. Usually don't do that. But I had a Boshack video I want to work on later today. I hope I said his name wrong. I probably didn't. And I'll get comments that I didn't say it right. Samantha Sledge. Did I do that? Sledge. Samantha the Sledgehammer is in the house. But I was really curious about what that meant. I was confused. But, hey. I got a lot of weird comments, but that wasn't weird. It just confused me. Now, life Mikey is a girl. They may turn Mikey into a girl. Maybe Mikey was always a girl. Drunk 3PO. Did you think of that? Did you ask the little kid that played Mikey in those commercials? Did you ask his gender? Did you ask if he was a female or male? What he identified as? I know. I bet you didn't. How rude of you to assume it was a boy just because he was named Mike and eating cereal. Oh my God, I said he. I meant just because they were his name Mike and they were eating cereal. <sighs> Here we go. Now, I think this is more newer, but still, do we really need Pop Tops? Pop Top. Pop Tart cereal. Again, I have to let us know it's new. Gross. I don't even like a Pop Tart now. If I have to eat one, I might eat one, but they're not really good. <sighs> they're like the Pizza Pockets of Fruit. 
candy, I guess. Ugh, it just seems so nasty and gross. Ugh. But let's check in with Geek the Gamer Kid for news of going on. Now, he's probably calmed down a little bit. Maybe you guys can let me know what the latest news. Let's go over and check with Geek the Gamer Kid. This makes me so freaking mad. You Sonic fans had to ruin everything in your adventure fantasies. Holy frick. Oh, give us Sonic Adventure 3. Give us Sonic Heroes 2. Give us Shadow the Hedgehog 2. Give us... Okay, I, I still don't know what he's screaming about. Maybe you guys can help me, but that's your pop culture news right there. We'll check in with him just one more time. We don't want to give him the whole hour, do we? But, you know, that's probably how I think Drunk 3 bios hangs out with the dude. That's probably how they are in their meetings all the time. Or what they're going to scream about. Uh, <laughs> uh, Samantha Slash, the Slash Hammer herself, is in here. She said that I see him on Edge. I don't even know what that really means. But maybe if I did, maybe I didn't have to go back and watch the video. Maybe I seen a little on edge. Sometimes, you know, I do. Well, I don't know. That was more a happy video. Sometimes I do like, oh, I'm angry about that when I'm not really angry about something. Oh, I can't believe they made that toy. You know, just to add a little flavor to the video. But I don't remember anything edgy being on edge in that. But she says she was drunk. So maybe she was a little off there also. Who knows? Best way to jump, watch the junk man is probably being drunk it's probably a good way but you sent in a super chat so i'm gonna send you one you've probably seen all the self-made ones you don't care about primetime charlie and everything so let's what can we send her i'm gonna play this thing. i'm gonna give you two because just because i want to play this again because it just wears me out the interesting thing is they call it pyro processing but it's a molten salt process they're dissolving this thing in a molten salt and they're doing electrochemistry on it why don't they call it molten salt they want no association Oh no, somebody's busted my antenna. There you go. I don't know. Just a documentary, a guy walking down the street, and then who just shows up in the back? You guessed it. George Lucas. Sal the Blue, George Lucas in the background. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Uh, let's get back to the cereal here. You guys know I hate the Muppet Babies. I just hate to look at them. I don't want to see cartoon characters of Muppets wearing diapers. I don't want to have that in my mind that Miss Piggy shits herself in her diaper. Oh, or Kermit the Frog or Gozo. But just something about Miss Piggy shitting herself in a diaper just bothers I hate that Miss... Look at it. I can't... Even, oh. I mean, it's bad enough seeing Kermit and everything. But that Miss Piggy with the rosy fat cheeks... Oh my gosh, she looks like Thelma there used to work down at the Winn Dixie on Vineville. Oh my god. Oh, never know when George Lucas is going to pop up. That's right. I might be popping, but George Lucas is popping up. Never know. Look out behind you. That might be George Lucas or just an old man wearing a flannel shirt and a beard. A geek gamer kid, he would ever get a girlfriend. He might have a girlfriend. He might have two of them. Who knows? Um, I love that, says Samantha Sledge. Thank you. Uh, Rogue Comics is in the house. You'll see, you see that Bad Bat trailer. No, is it new? Is it out now? I don't know. I've been busy the last couple of hours. Don't really care about the Bad Batch, but I'll check it out. If there's a trailer, I will check it out. Don't like community animation shows too much, but I'm curious of what it looks like. Pop Top Cereal. Use in a toaster. Just don't put your milk in the toaster. I love pizza rolls and SpaghettiOs. Thank you for letting me know the worst. That is some nine-year-old food that I probably still eat. Nine-year-olds eat it, but I still eat it. Also, Mike Zero is reporting that Junkman has confirmed that he has video of George Lucas going to work on editing new Star Wars stuff. Shh. Star Wars. What well, I've heard that Lucas has taken all of the Star Wars movies made by Disney, the DVDs, Put them on his computer and edited them himself. That's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true. I don't know what the fuck this is. Be honest with you, I hate to cuss so early in the morning, but this must be something from the UK because it's sugar puffs and it is probably the creepiest, most scariest box of cereal I've ever seen. But it says it comes with a free X Men action figure, although that looks like a trading card. I'm curious of what the action figure looks like inside. I might have to do some research and pull, pull those up. Because I would anything that came with a free action figure, like the Han Solo that you had to send off for, but that looks like it comes with free. 
in the box. I have to check that out. Maybe you guys know what sugar puffs are. It just looks really creepy to me. And of course, I think this was more of a Crystal Skull era. I don't think they did one in the 80s. We got the Indiana Jones cereal. Oh, you probably had to hunt for those marshmallows, man. Those marshmallows were hard to find, probably. Don't you hate that? There was always, well, there was never enough mar marshmallows. I mean, somebody came out a couple years ago. It was like one of those goof items. It was a box of cereal, all marshmallows. I think that was the name of it, all marshmallows. And I love those marshmallows. They were so hard and stale. I loved them. Mm, and we got nerds. Remember nerds? They were two. You got cherry on one side, grape on the other side. You got some free toys inside. Nerds. Like the cereal. Like the candy, I mean, but came in the cereal. So there you go right there. Cereal nerds. And Bart Simpson got in the act with Eat My Short Cereal. Cereal that was shaped like Bart Simpson's shorts. You know, me and my son watched Breakfast Club last weekend, and he couldn't believe that one of the students told the principal, eat my shorts, and that the principal was offended by it. And he's like, that's the guy that made the most corniest diss. That's what he said, corniest diss. I don't know. Has he ever heard anyone say, eat my shorts? He's like, does he need, I said, back in the 80s, that would insult parents if you said, eat my shorts. That, and if you told a kid, your mom wears combat boots. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why that was an insult, eat my shorts, but that was, back then, crazy times. Nickelodeon had to get into the act with green slime. Now, they don't like to remember, you can't do it on television. They don't like to put it out on DVD. They don't like to remember it, but they do cash off the green slime, which started on You Can't Do That on Television, the Canadian show and one of the greatest shows ever because it had Kevin Kupacheski on it, and you can't go wrong with anyone named Kupacheski. What about candy corn? Man, they'll make... We really got to get the kids this hyper in the morning. Candy corn pop cereal. Come on now. We're just getting carried away. And magic puffs. I don't know. This looks like more of the 70s style box. Don't know what that is. Maybe you do. But it is new. And it comes with one magic trick. Don't expect two magic tricks. You greedy bastard. It comes with one. Fruit Brute. This is the one people forget about. They talk about uh, Count Chocula cereal and the, the and the berry one and the other ones. But I always see people forget about Fruit Brute. He was part of that monster cereal line. You had the Ghost. You had the Count Chocula. And you had one other one I'm forgetting. And then people forget about Fruit Brute. No one brings up Fruit Brute. I loved him. Oh, you can't do that on YouTube. Maybe that should be a new series. There you go. Jump 3 po And this looks like some old-ass scary cereal from back in the old days. This is far back. This has to be like the 1960s Apple Jacks. I never had Apple Jacks, and I remember watching Sanford and Son, and Fred said he liked Apple Jacks, but uh, it was always liquor he was talking about, so I don't know what he was talking about. But look at that picture. Look at that mascot. Looks like that hat that Junk 3 po wears on his live stream. Check his live stream out if you hadn't. He wears a hat kind of like that, but it's white. But he didn't have it on the last couple of times and upset me. And we're back now. Two cereal boxes. We looked them all, so we got about 10 more minutes left. So let's check back in one last time with Geek, that gamer kid, to see the latest in pop culture movie news. I'm tired of this. The Sonic series is ruined thanks to you guys. You freaking freaks. Holy frick. Why does it have to be this way? I hate the Sonic fan base. Sonic is ruined. Why can't you guys launch a rebuttal against Sega for a 3D environment classic Sonic game? Why does it have to be that hard? You freaking fricks! Freaking fricks! Freaking. <sighs> okay, guys, that's the last time we'll check in with him today. We might check back in him later tonight when we do the 7 o'clock stream, the action figure show stream where we talk about action figures. Can't keep up with what he's just a little high two pitch, a little high pitch for me. But he's about nine years old and he runs a successful YouTube channel, a network of Geek the Gamer Kids. So I give him that. Uh, what does this kid know about Sonic? I don't know what he knows about Sonic, but he is a geek, he is a gamer, and he is a kid. So apparently he knows a lot. Is that Valma? I don't know if that's Valma. Might be, might be. Green slime, radioactive waste. Poor kid says Samantha Slam. Samantha, I said your name, I butchered your name, Samantha the Sledgehammer Slammer herself. 
Raw Doll said, I guess it's a boy. Or you get, you, at least you guess, you didn't assume someone's gender. You get two woke points right there, Raw Solo. You get two woke points. If you go to one of the junk men, <laughs> he, man, he trolls all my friends on his live stream. I remember that guy. I he remember dresses that. up like Goombok <laughs> and makes fun of Junk. <laughs> Two girls at a podcast. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's catch up some more over here. Star Wars Bounty Hunter Serial Greedos. That would have been a good one to have. Greedos. Greedios. Greedios, I guess is how you say it. That kid had too much cereal. That kid had too much of everything, I think. Right there. We got a super chat in the house. We got a super chat. I love it so much. Super chat. Support the channel like you do. I don't see that many themed cereals anymore. Is the golden age of them over? Yes, it is. Kids, parents, he'd come out with too much cartoons based on cereal. People start complaining nowadays. Oh, you're trying to get our kids to eat cereal that's bad for them instead of just being a parent and saying, hey, I'll buy you. I'll buy you. I don't even know what the latest. I'll buy you the MCU cereals, but I'm going to buy it once a month instead of every day. Mm -mm. So, yeah, you're right. The theme cereal are out now, you know. Uh, they just... But... It just seems like there's not really that mark. I mean, MCU's huge, Star Wars, stuff like that. You probably still get cereal based on movies. It seems like everything is so niche now. You know, everybody's got their... There's just so much out there. They're not... Like, He-Man came out. Everybody loved He-Man. 90% of the kids I knew watched He-Man. Now it seems everything is so spread out. I don't even know what the hits are. Gumbo, the cartoon. Was it Gumbo? The Amazing World of Gumbo, but I don't think that's, I think that's popular, but I think there's 10 other cartoons probably just as popular. I love being a princess. It's uh, fun to dress up and yeah, wear the crown and yeah, all that, but yeah, yeah. what I really want to be is the elephant. And there you go. Well, we got about, about eight more minutes, so let's just help over to the chat, see what some of you guys are saying. What are we up to? 69 people in the chat. I like that. 69. Junk3PO runs, does live YouTube. He's probably laughing his ass off. He's probably saying, ha, 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 69. I get 600 when I don't even have Gina Carano on my show. Oh, my God. How did he get Gina on his show? I don't know. Tell her to come over to the junk man. But she couldn't handle this goodness. Oh, more hot, more hot girls. Yes, let's look at more hot girls. <laughs> Woo! Somebody had a lot of cereal that morning. We got Junk 3PO wearing a smiley face and a cowboy hat. Car Shark Reality says, too bad Junk Man's channel's not popping though this morning. Or is it? it is actually for Pop Culture Show. We're actually about, we're actually up more than usual. I know 11 o'clock in the morning is an odd time to do a show, but I said no one else is doing live streams about Star Wars, pop culture and shit in the morning, so let's not do it. And plus, my job told me not to come back, so I'm pushing live stream hard as I can so I can make some money here. So I don't have to go back to a stupid job. Oh, or a real job, I should say. But what was I going to do? I was going to do something. I'm done with Geek the Gamer Kid. Uh, anyone want to see this video? Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Everything's okay, I promise. Well, I'm sure. You may want to watch that whole video. I don't think so. Lucas Cereal with KK Dartboard Offer. Mmm. <laughs> Maybe a Mike Zero dartboard. Mike Zero likes to put dartboard in the bag. You know, grape nuts. They're not grapes, and they're not nuts. I didn't understand that one either. Uh, keep up the great work, Junk Man. I'm trying my best. We should be back around 5 o'clock. Might be a little late getting up. I don't know. A Bo Shack video is coming up. One of my favorites. Maybe it'll be a new series where I'll look at patrons of the cantina and talk about them because I love that guy. Although he has about a half of a second scene in the movie. Screech had a son. I was thinking the same thing. That looked like Screech when I saw that. That's probably the most cringiest thing on YouTube. Uh, Matt says, I bought Pac-Man cereal at GameStop and it was terrible. Damn. Well, they bring it back out. I'm guessing they bring it back. I hope the GameStop didn't have an old box of Pac-Man cereal sitting out there. Uh, Jim says, someone give him some Riddler. He seems like he needs to keep, the gamer kid needs to kind of slimmer down a little bit there. Calm down. 
Um, so much better than the news. Enjoying my coffee and you, sir. Thank you. Trying to bring a little bit more light-headed, light-hearted fun over to the game show. Boshek had a Star Wars CCG card. He did. He did. Had a lot of information about him. Hey, Junkster. Hello to you, too. Nintendo Serial. Serial system, never had any, didn't even. Like I said, we talked about it earlier, didn't have it, but it looked enjoyable. Best lightsaber, says 1980 Star Wars guy. Best lightsaber is probably Luke's, Anakin, whatever one you want to call it. Lightsaber, I like the handle of that one the best. I know, you always broke all the handle, man. I know, it's a handle, okay. <laughs> we got the worst. How often do you play Miss Pac-Man game, Junk Man? I actually play it about once, twice a day. I ain't got tired of it yet. But now, if I die, I never die on the first board. But if I make a screw up and I die on the first two boards, I usually just cut it off and like fucking start over. Uh, K says, I support you. K, thank you so much for the super chat. Hope I got your name right here. I don't think you've seen, I don't think I've given you a special super chat. So this one, if you've seen it and sick of it, I'm sorry. But let's, mm, don't want to give you, mm, I don't know, people, I don't know. We'll go with Larry. Primetime Charlie might be a little too early for Primetime Charlie. Here you go. Kate, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the port. It really does mean a lot. Here you go. Well, look at you, sending a super chat, just like a first class Wampa would. I want to thank you a lot for the support. It means a lot, and uh, I just know it goes into making this channel better, and it goes in for helping support the team behind the camera. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, well, this is going to help the junk man out, but really, it helps out a lot more. It helps out everyone, not just junk man. I mean, there's a lot of people that go behind, on behind the scenes. I mean, of course, you have me, your host, Larry J. Wampa, and you have Alien Todd, you have Primetime Charlie, you have Yo, dog, wrap right this thing up. Forget. Hurry up, man. Don't take all day. Okay, 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 I'm going. Thank you again for the Super Chat. There you go, Kay. Thank you so much for the Super Chat. Supporting the channel means a lot. Boshek had an action figure. Yeah, Boshek, Boshek, whatever his fucking name is. We will be talking about that and more at 5 o'clock. Car Shot Reality says James Taylor. He wants to hear a little James Taylor before we get out of here. Song about Jelly Man Kelly. He loves Jelly the most. I'm a muscle bone. Jelly man Kelly loves his jelly on toast. Whoa, did you see how bored that kid in the striped shirt look? Look at let's go back to that real quick here. Look at him with that yellow hair. He doesn't care that the great James Taylor is singing right. You know, I haven't seen anyone look that bored since I saw two girls at a microphone. If you go to one of the junk man He man, he trolls all my friends on his live stream. I remember that guy. I he dresses him. up like Google <laughs> Pocket makes fun of you. Two girls on a microphone. Where is that? It was on the jump on the drunk 3PO live stream. It was great. Watching them react to um Oh my god, shut up! I'm trying to Every yard in this neighborhood is like this big. Oh, that, I've been cutting the grass before I even started this pod stream. Pod stream. Live stream. And we're at 58, 59 minutes exactly. And they're still out there cutting the grass. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to hear the, ge the gamer kids scream all damn day. Oh man. Chris is always here to let us know who is hot, who is not. Chris, here is the hot girl for you. Okay, we got Just Call Me Crazy. Crazy. Send it in a super chat. Long time viewer. I appreciate the grind and really enjoy the lives, figure, the live, live shows. Figures, fever. Oh, thank you. Don't forget, we did two videos yesterday instead of just the normal 5 o'clock video like I always did. Last night, very late, I posted 10 Star Wars characters I hope show up on Obi-Wan because if you missed the live stream, Last night on Star Wars, we went two hours. Ask the guys in the room. Ask Chris. Ask Drunk 3P. I think he was in there. Ask, uh, 
I know Chris was in there. Ashley was in there. We had a lot of fun. We kept talking for two hours. We just had a lot of fun in the live stream. And that topic came up of who we would like to see in Star Wars. So I made a video about it. I didn't just take clips from the live stream. I'm not lazy. I made a whole new video. So check it out. Ten characters, I hope, show up uh, in the Star Wars. But uh, Captain said, oh, oh, longtime viewer. Let's send him. We're going to send him primetime Charlie. Call me crazy. Because they call Primetime Charlie crazy. So here you go. Primetime Charlie. Just for you. Primetime Charlie. You know, Primetime Charlie sounds a lot like a very happy. Because you freaking fricks just can't ever be quenched. Yeah. Primetime Charlie and Geek the Game of Kids sound. Oh, I got Curtis sending in a super chat. I think y'all send super chats at the end of the show to keep me going more than an hour. Is that what it is? I got my shirt from you. It's great. Oh, what shirt did you get? Let me know, Chris. Curtis, sorry. Let me know. I'm going to send this one out for you. And a smile that lights up the night. And it all belongs to kid Dynamite! Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> there you go, Curtis. Thank you so much for the super chat. And let me hang in here just a second so I can see two girls in a microphone better than a lawnmower noise. Very funny. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I wanted those two girls on a microphone, even though I pick on them. I actually saw them on Twitter yesterday. Somebody retweeted them. I was like, hey, that's those two girls. That's those two girls that's like, oh, can we move on from talking about the junk man and talk about us? We're hot. We're girls. And we're hanging out with nerds. We should be the center of attention. I'm just joking, too. I don't know if that's how they felt. I doubt it. I'm just being funny. I don't want nobody to go back to them and say, hey, they said you were stuck. So let's, I'm just giving Curtis, we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to give Curtis a few seconds here as I can see. I'm curious of what shirt he did get if he's out there. Cardoon, the Cardoon shirt, the one I got told. You're just trying to make money off a situation that's pressing right now. You don't care about Cardoon. You're just trying to make some extra money. You're right, I am. I do like Cardoon. Not about the actress. I like the actress too, but uh, I'm not going to get it. But you can like the character. You don't mean you have to like the actress. You can like the actress and not like the character. Or you can like both or hate both. It doesn't really matter. And yeah, I was trying to strike when the engine was hot. Because every time you buy a shirt, I get $2 out of it. Uh, Samantha the Sledgehammer. Is in, I thought, oh, she just said lol. Missed that one right there. Uh, Junkman. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second. Samantha, is she, are you a... Oh, I can't do that now. Never mind. Samantha, are you a monitor? Because it looks like you have a blue snaggletooth by your name, being that you're a member of the channel, which means you be, become a monitor. If you're not a monitor and you are a member, let me know. That way I can add you. Uh, I'll try to add you. I think Raw Solo. I thought he was a monitor too, but he doesn't have the little hammer thing by his side. Uh, 3PO says, Big Bottom Girls is what he likes when he's drinking his 3PO champagne. Big Bottom Girls. Saw Cardoon figure at Target on Sunday. Very cool. You should have got it. Goes for a lot on eBay. I actually like the actress better than the character. That's good. You can like both. You can hate both. You can do whatever you want to do. But if it's hot news, I'll make a topic. But I wanted to support her also by making a shirt. Um... I'm in love with the actress and the character, said Curtis. I understand that. Have to run into copyright problems with any of that merch. I get Lucasfilm pulls down my shirts all the time. But that's about the only people I have problem with, yeah, problem with except when I did a bootleg figure of Rambo. I put on a shirt because it was so weird looking, and it got pulled down by Sylvester Stallone. That's what it said anyway in the email. It said that didn't say... It says Stallone had it pulled down, which I don't understand. It was just a bootleg figure of him. It wasn't even from the actual movie, so that's weird. Uh, Samantha Sledge, I'm a member, but I'm not a moderator. I'll try to remember. I, I don't have it logged in over here on this computer. I can make you a moderator, but I will do that. And Raw Solo also. Uh, because if you're a member, you automatically get to be moderator because I'm 
do trust you. I recall Pac-Man cereal, drunk three people smiling, at least my favorite cereal. Okay, tonight the action figure show will return. It's not the live, it's not the light, late night format we used to do. It's just a live stream having fun. But Larry might show up, Alien Todd might show up. You never know who's going to show up. And for people, and we're probably going to check in with Geek, the Gamer Kid again. But it's going to be the same clips because I'm lazy. But it's for the people who didn't watch this one. Anyway, I want to thank you guys. It means a lot. Five, probably, hopefully by 5 o'clock, you're going to pick my son up from school later. So hopefully by 5 o'clock, a Boshack video. I know you're really looking forward to that. The mystery of Boshack. Thanks for jumping in. Keeping the laughs coming. Thank you guys. Might make a shirt. I really, I got pulled down by Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, that's meant me a good one. Thank you guys. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the support. And I will leave you with this. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Everything's okay. I promise. I forgive you. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be okay. I love you. I love you so much. I love you more than there are grains of sand on every beach of every planet, of every galaxy of the universe. I, I need you in my life. I need you more than humans need water. And I can't do it anymore. Good Lord, let's get out of here. That is just too creepy. Later, thank you all for the support. Huh? All right, fellas, you know, away we go. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.